Okay, this is a quick walkthrough for people that have a home with multi-zone. I have three zones here that want to replace their old Master Troll Mark V relay controller that controls temp, troll attempt controllers, which I'll show you afterwards, and want to update it with the new Honeywell HZ311 controller, which is a three zone digital controller. I've already done that and I put the picture up here to represent just to show you uh, some of the things that uh, went on. A uh, little history on the house. The house was built in 74. Uh, it looks like it was originally going to be a, it's a large ranch with an in-law downstairs and it looked from the way the furnace system is set, was set up, it was set up originally as a single zone and then during uh, final phasing, it looked like they changed it over to a three zone due to the amount of hacking into the ductwork instead of being nice and clean as would have been when it was put in as during installation. So uh, up on the wall too in the main house, there's a spot in the hallway where you can, it looks like something was attached to the wall at about thermometer height. And uh, like I said before, it's a large ranch with an in-law downstairs. I bought the house in March, and when we came in to look at the house in the beginning, the in-law apartment was about uh, a good 60 degrees, while the upstairs was about 40, maybe 45 in the two zones. And one thing I noticed right away, uh, the thermostats on the wall were the old mercury ones, and they were only like about four feet off the ground for some reason, all, four, all three of them. So when we moved into the house, uh, we turned up the heat and we would get the house up upstairs up to 60 degrees but downstairs in the in-law apartment it would be baking at 85 90 degrees uh realized that there was a zoning issue and uh started messing around first thing we did was we closed all the vents in the basement in the, in the in-law apartment so that there was no heat down there basically it was all forced upstairs then and uh going through the zoning uh we realized that the zone two which served the back bedroom uh, wasn't working along with zone three. So I went and bought new uh, the uh, Trolla temp controllers which were on the valves totally being not knowing what to do with the thing and bought two of them and started to replace them come to find out that zone two the bedroom zone was actually working but the set screw on the shaft that moved the levers hadn't been engaged so it was basically sitting there in whatever position it was in, I don't remember it was open or closed. Uh, and zone three then started working. Still had issues with the, the downstairs being more hotter than the upstairs. And uh, we wanted to uh, burn, we had a fire, we have a fireplace with insert and we wanted to burn it, but the living room just got so hot and the fan function didn't work. So I called a friend of mine who is an AC guy engineer done this thing a million times commercially and home and recommended that I purchase this little control panel right here the Honeywell 311 and you'll notice the green open red close that's because I'm a little dyslexic and I thought that red meant it was working and green wasn't when it was the opposite so that's my little reminder right there because I thought, you know, heat was red, so it was red, it was heat, but it was the opposite. But that's me. So, basically what I did was, uh, I mount that, the bottom that I showed you down below the picture, that's where the box was mounted. I took the new box, and I mounted it. And I basically took the wires from thermostat 1, zone 1, and move the wires up that need to be moved up to zone one you have your thermostat and then dampener okay it's wired a little bit different which i'll explain further uh and then i did the same thing with two took the wires off moved them up to zone uh two dampener and thermostat and zone three i did the same thing dampener and thermostat now i'd already replaced the thermostats with honeywell thermostats a new digital timer so you could set everything on it and hooked everything up and the way the uh, electrical goes out to the controllers on this box 
is it goes it has its own separate wire going out to the controller to for the for the for the whole thing and then it has another wire that goes up to that's just the power to control then it has another wire going to the controller to actually control the valve open and close the new setup they actually run the wire, the electrical through the main three wires it hooks up to uh uh, and, and four, and four, five, and six. Uh, since I was a little confused at that point in time, I actually called Honeywell. They have a great, great support line. That whoever is there will talk you right on through it. Basically, it was a simple matter of putting the wires in the proper place on the uh, troll attempt controller and uh, red jumper, which I'll show next. And uh, everything, everything worked fine. So that that took care of that. So we were still having issues with the downstairs running hotter than the upstairs, even though I put the temperature way down on it. And uh, we, we, it was towards the end of the season, so we left it like that. So uh, last year, uh, we, we had it running, and we had a whole bunch of things going on, family issues, so I just couldn't really pay any attention to it. And it was comfortable. We were comfortable. Uh, gas bill was a little high, I thought. So this winter I said well let me tackle this again and, and let me see what's going on because we still could not get the fan function to work so we couldn't burn the fireplace so I called up Honeywell again and I explained the situation I said the fans not working I, I'm not sure why and I'm still having an issue with balancing the heat between the upstairs zone one and zone three so me a dummy I was checking the voltage on the valve itself on the controller itself and was telling him yeah well i got voltage on zone three and he says well i want you to check the panel and tell me where the voltage is and actually the voltage is on zone two so it appears from the very beginning from when this thing was first installed the dampeners which are these wires right right here i'm sorry these three two the tupper three were reversed because on mine it wasn't one wire it was two separate wires those were reversed so zone one was controlled the, the dampener for zone three which is downstairs and the thermostat downstairs was controlling the dampener for upstairs now one of the saving graces about this old system is the control valves are extremely leaky they don't close well they're not put they weren't put in properly they weren't sealed properly uh, and that was one of the other and with the wires reversed so the first thing we did was uh, the guy had me reverse the wires and now the house is actually stabilized temperature wise and right now what I'm doing is so that that is gone that's totally gone I took that that's, that's gone and I'm working just with the the box up here and everything is working good on it the fan now works properly and uh, what I'm doing is I'm replacing the gates, the air, the air valves, um, with the new modern uh, two-blade design, with the new uh, Honeywell controller, which is much more efficient and quicker. And uh, right over here, I really hate moving the camera when it, it, it gets so jittery. But I want to show you the valve that I am replacing. This is the Zone 1 valve. Okay, this is the troll attempt valve controller and as you can see the wiring coming over is just one wire now before it had two and the red white and green go to one four and six and you have to jump for the two and five to make it work and then it works fine uh, so we're in the process of replacing the controller motor itself the controller and the entire valve. These are the original uh, multi-blade valves and they leak like a good 10 to 15 percent air even when they're closed. And I have the other one over here, zone three, which serves downstairs. The old style leaky is all get up and go. I got another one on order for that. I'll be replacing that too. So I'll be replacing these two. Now zone two out in the bedroom, I've already replaced and I want to show you actually what I took out. Uh, this is what they had put in here. Here's the, here's the zone two. There's the controller. But you'll love this. You can see it's a multi-blade blade design, and you can operate it by 
moving a little motor right here. You see it open and close. Uh, they're rattly. Uh, they make noise when they're open and closing. And they leak. But what's really cute was it was an 18 uh, length ductwork that they had to put it into, uh, 8 by 18. So they got an 8 by 16 here and they put this little flap of metal on to close it off to direct the air. So zone 2 wasn't getting the proper airflow. Uh, and as you can see, these are uh, narrow design right here. And the new ones are much thinner, thicker design. So I had to cut out, after I pulled this out, I had to cut out the ductwork. And I put it in, and here it is right up here. It's in and functioning, this the new. The new one you can see is nice, got a nice indicator light on it. And uh, it's all sealed in there. The only problem is that it's leaking like a sieve because the ductwork is flappy around the edges. So in other words, I'm getting a lot of air passing underneath here and on the top. So I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to install some of this foam right here that I, that I purchased on, along the edge right there. On the, on the one that's in there now, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to install that along the edge so that when it goes in, it'll seal uh, much better than what it's done, doing right now. So unfortunately, even though it is working, I do have to untape it and uh, get all the nice foil that I put up around there and pull it out and then reseal and put it back because we're really trying to achieve a good solid uh, break on, on the air so that when one zone is on, there, there's nothing coming through the other zone and the heat is being concentrated on where we want it at that point in time which is when you have the older system with those moldy veins, you're going to have trouble doing this. Uh, as I change out the other two, I don't have possession of the new valves. I'll document that and I'll post this as a couple mini tips on uh, helping you out. And I, hope this, I hope this was helpful to anybody looking to uh, convert over their old master relay system to a new Honeywell. Uh, incidentally, uh, it's a great product. And again, the Honeywell 3 Zone HZZ11 can be purchased for uh, less than $100 on Amazon. Great deal. Great deal.